Greetings! Today I've got uh, to open another toy uh, or gadget uh, that came from China that I've ordered um, a few weeks back and it turned out at random. Um, uh, it says may be opened officially. So yes, I have officially opened the packet and this is, uh, this is what it was inside. So uh, let's get at it. So what we've got inside is a board, a few components, literally a few, um, and a display. So um, what this is, is, um, is a Max um, 7219 uh, driven uh, LED matrix um, 8x8 um, LEDs. And um, I got this because I thought this would be a fun, uh, fun little gizmo. Uh, Oh, that's horribly bent. Um, this will be a fun little gizmo to uh, to put together and just uh, play around with uh, with it. Now, um, the thing about this, um, it's got it's driving eight by eight um, LEDs, but it's only got literally a few pins on here. Um, that's because it's uh, driven by SPI, um, Serial Peripheral Interface, and um, yeah, that makes it quite easy because uh, eight by eight, you'll need sixteen. Um, 16 pins to, to drive this directly, but uh, with the help of this you're actually using only a handful of 4 pins um, clock, chip select, um, data in and that's about it, then VC and power su false supply voltage and, and ground so yeah, um, that's all there is to it so I will be quickly putting this together and see if I can uh, just uh, bodge up some random code or maybe download something and see if I can get it going um, and then I'll think of a uh, proper purpose for this. There it is on eBay. Um, so Max 7219 dot matrix module display module kit module DIY kit MCU control display for Arduino one pound uh, twenty five it cost. Um, this came from seller called one hundred FYS. Um, and yeah, I'll put a link uh, in the this video description to to the listing. Uh, the item number is two nine one six zero seven eight zero seven seven three two. If you prefer listening, and um, yeah, um, it's got quite interesting product description. So um, yes, a single module can drive an eight by eight common cathode lattice, uh, which is uh, which is this. Um, module operating voltage 5 volts, brilliant. Module size 5 centimeters long by 3.2 wide by 1.5 high, which is all fine. With four screws hole aperture 3 millimeter by using our M3 tongs who fixed. I need to buy tongs who fixed uh, for this. Um, module with input and output interfaces supports multiple modules cascade. Um, which is this, so basically you can, uh, you've got data in and data out, you can um, have more than one of those and you just daisy chain them one off of another and uh, and yeah, it, um, it will have, uh, you can have more than one. Um, I'll just pick this up, this, this board actually feels uh, really nice, It's uh, it's got some weight to it and it's um, thick and it feels really nicely made actually. Um, so yeah, that's uh, really good. Let's go back to it because the description later on is quite uh, interesting. Um, wiring instructions. The module left as an input port to the output port on the right. Of course. The control of a single module simply input port to the CPU. Multiple modules cascade input termination CPU to output termination module a module of the input of the input terminal, the output terminal of the first two modules of the first three modules and so on. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. So note, VCC and ground is not reversed, it would burn the chip. When the 51 microcomputer P0 port control must be connected to the pull-up resistor, it is recommended that the resistance of 4.7 to 10k. Okay. 
Please lattice into the whole first seat and then insert it into the round hole block PCB board welding. Lattice ward side facing the surface from facing the surface order from left to right pin one two three four five six. PCB board one foot square pad. There is an exclamation mark at the end. Uh, it's a one foot square one foot square pad. Okay. Electrolytic capacitors long legged as positive, negative short legs. Ceramic, ceramic capacitor without the positive and negative points. Okay, I think I get the points, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's always interesting uh, to read uh, read those descriptions. Um, but yeah, um, what I'm going to do, I'll quickly solder this up together, connect it to an Arduino and see if we can get it going. And I'll see how I'm going to solder this, uh, whether on or off the camera, I need to straighten all those pins. Uh, maybe I'll just speed up the video or something, we'll, we'll have a look. Okay, there we go. That's uh, that's completed. Um, so I'm not going to bother solding um, another header um, to this. And what I have to do is connect it to Arduino and see if I can get it blinking. Okay, there we go. That's uh, going around uh, after a little bit of fiddling and uh, going through a whole mass of. Uh, different libraries and uh, all sorts of other stuff I've managed to get it uh, to do what I want um, but yeah I get the gist of it so uh, that's, there's far more uh, experimentation to uh, go and uh, use it for something um, interesting but yeah it's a really cool little module um, really cheap and uh, yeah the effect uh, is there you can do all sorts of cool animations so cascade more modules and whatnot um, all in all uh, cheap and cheerful and um, does the job so yeah I hope you enjoyed this uh, little uh, short video and uh, yeah thanks for watching and that's all for this one take care